Hey there, hope you're having a good night. Coming to you live from Jordanton High School where Pioneer Baseball took on Georgetown in game one of the fifth round of the high school baseball playoffs. The Georgetown and Pioneer faced off back in 2019 at the state tournament. The Eagles came out victorious. Diamondbacks looking for some revenge tonight in game one. Let's go ahead and check out the highlights. Angel Larrañaga on the mound for the Diamondbacks in game one. Let's see how he would do against the Eagles top of the first. He had it going on. He's striking out EJ Davis, who can't check his swing. The Pioneer fans fired up. Later in the second, it's Larrañaga fielding his own position. He gets Zach Savala to pop his bunt up for the easy out. That keeps a Georgetown's runner at second base. But two batters later, the Eagles hit a grounder to third. Too hot to handle for the Diamondbacks. A one run comes around to score for the Eagles. Their fans are chanting hard. Georgetown up 1-0. Still in the second inning. Bases loaded for Davis. Hit up the middle just out of the reach of Juan Rivera. Two runs come around to score. Georgetown now up 3 to nothing. But La Rañaga finally gets out of the inning with a strikeout. Showing his emotions on his sleeve after picking up the K. Georgetown goes on to win game one four to nothing. Here's what the D-backs had to say after the game. Look at the scoreboard. We had three errors. I mean, I had two of those errors and they were big. And I'm gonna take credit for them. I mean, they were my mistakes and runs came in because of that. If not, it would have been a zero-zero ball game. And but it's I mean it's baseball and it happens. Obviously, we got to do the little things right. Defensively, we didn't play as well as we'd like to. Um, we've got to make some adjustments there. We've got to make some adjustments at the plate. Um, we kind of got out of our approach a little bit. Um, you know, really, it's just the little things. Tough outing for the Diamondbacks. Pioneer will now have to win a game two tomorrow night at 7 o'clock here at Jordanton. If they win, game three would be on a Saturday afternoon. Reporting live in Jordanton, Ruben Juanes of Valley Sports Central. Back to you guys in the studio.